When Newton was thinking about his theory of gravity, he didn't simply want an explanation of it. He wanted a mathematical explanation of it, an equation that would precisely describe the force of gravity. And he reasoned that it would probably be an inverse square law. And you should understand what this term means. It's a mathematical term. It's an inverse square relationship between two variables. I'll give you an example of an inverse square law that we can see in everyday life. Suppose we have a flashlight. And you know how flashlights work. The light rays, the light rays spread out from the flashlight as they travel. So the farther away you get from the light, the more spread out it is. Let's imagine this flashlight sitting here emitting light, and these are the light rays. They're traveling off in this direction. And let's imagine we place a screen here. So the light lands on this screen and illuminates it. And suppose this screen is a distance of one meter away from the light source. Well, you can see all this light landing on the screen here will illuminate it. And so it will be lit up with a certain brightness, a certain amount of illumination, a certain amount of light landing on that screen. Well, if you imagine these rays spreading out, you can see that they're, they're, they're straight lines. They're linear, but they all have different angles. If we were to go, instead of one meter away, if we were to go twice that far, two meters away, you should be able to see that a screen placed twice the distance away, in order to catch the same light rays, will have to be twice as wide and twice as tall. So, so if this is a certain width there, the screen is going to be twice as wide. And if the screen has a certain height here, the screen twice as far away will have to be twice as high in order to catch the exact same light rays. And so, as you can see in the picture, this screen that's twice as far away is four times the size. It's twice as wide and twice as tall, so it's as if we had four of these smaller screens. So the light now landing, remember it's the same light, all the light that would have landed on this screen, if that screen is then replaced by this other one, that same light is spread out over an area four times as big. So the illumination on this second screen, or a screen that's twice as far away, is only going to be one-fourth the illumination on the screen that was closer. Continuing that same reason, if we go out three times as far as we originally were, then to catch the same light rays, we need a screen that is three times as wide and three times as tall. And you should be able to see that this screen is like nine of these little ones. So increasing the distance here by a factor of three has required an area nine times as great to capture the same light. In other words, the light that was landing on this original screen at this distance is going to be spread out over nine times as much area. So this screen will be less brightly illuminated and we can, we can see mathematically it will be exactly one-ninth as brightly illuminated as at the original distance. And you can continue this relationship. At four, four times the original distance, the amount of illumination would be cut to one-sixteenth. At five times the distance, it would be cut to one-twenty-fifth. At ten times the original distance, the illumination would be cut to one-one-hundredth. This inverse square relationship basically arises as a property of three-dimensional space in which we live in. And Newton understood this, and he, he figured that gravity would be stronger at closer distances and would weaken according to an inverse square law in much the same way that illumination did.